My name is Bruce McDonald uh, and I studied uh, product design at GSA. So, yeah, so I think the, the, the main focus for presenting the projects was to make them kind of clearly understandable. So obviously there's a lot of research that went into both projects. I mean, both projects were a few months long, so there's a kind of lot of background to both projects. I just wanted to make the process I'd gone through quite clear. So for the self initiated project, I tried to make the service map more uh, image-based with illustrations and so on, just to make my process uh, more understandable. And then the, the samples are kind of placed where they happened in the process. So you've got the raw materials at the start and then the kind of final outcomes at the end. Uh, and then it was much the same approach for, for the other project. Um, obviously there's a, kind of a lot of background to the project, especially with the machine learning aspect of it, but I tried to make that storyboard three-dimensional so that the people that were looking at it could get a feel for how the, the store might look and how the, the kind of the user moves through the space. It's really the goal just to make it um, kind of clearly understandable and, and more visual, I guess. My name is Christian Noel Charles and I am about to be a 2018 Master of Fine Art graduate uh, with the Glasgow School of Art. When it came to the program itself, I felt like I matured through the process because I knew, I understood community and how one person can build that for, their, for themselves and build connections locally to go into internationally, starting from grassroots. It feels like, that's how I felt like with GSA. And I also lived in the halls also and I had like, and there was a postgraduate floor and they were in architecture and comm devs that I felt, and they were like also from all over the world, like Japan and Athens, that I was able to create those massive connections so easily and, and also support each other in their backgrounds outside of just the program itself. I just, I just feel like I have more, after the MFA, I have more of a confidence of, of approaching things for the future. Um, which I think is best. <laughs> My name is Flannery Okafka and I studied fine art photography. I take family snapshots um, and then I take my film and I process it and I then usually take the processed film to a photo lab and get all of my prints back just like you would get holiday snapshots back and just like we got films back all our life, you know, growing up and then there's a process of separating out the work, like what becomes work and what's a family snapshot. But my work is a mix. To me, it's very funny. Um, I don't think people always maybe think it's as funny as I do, but it's very darkly funny, or it should be, at least. <laughs> My name is Liam Price and I study architecture. 
This year we were designing uh, a cultural building um, in Glasgow. So we had to sort of develop our own brief and uh, take that through from sort of the concept of what the building should be about right through to the actual um, building. Yeah, one of the um, key customs I was looking at was um, storytelling. Um, with Glaswegian, uh, with Glaswegians, it's very it's a very immediate way in which they communicate and share information. I think that is something that I was quite aware of growing up in Glasgow. It is very much about how you, the people interact here that makes it such an interesting um, place, um, and that was quite a key driver for the project. So that's why it was, um, and that actually comes through into the building that having, you know, a space for storytelling, but then also that more informally people would be sharing their own stories and their own sort of histories of, um, of Glasgow and ideas of Glasgow as a place. Okay, um, I'm Erin McQuarrie and I studied printed textiles. So my project this year is called Homage to the Studio and it's based around the interior of the Macintosh building, kind of post-fire um, and also the Japanese influence found in the structure. I saw imagery in a restoration lecture that had been taken of the plaster casts. Um, so these were x-rays to work out how the casts were composed so that they could restore them effectively. Um, and I just thought the imagery was really beautiful and thought it would be really nice to translate that into a fabric. Um, so I did that with uh, the Centre for Advanced Textiles um, in-house at GSE. And it's, a, it's quite a small team, but uh, they're, they're great people and they're really up for engaging with student projects as well. So it's been a pleasure to work with them this year. So my name is Martha and I studied the portfolio course two years ago and now I'm studying painting and printmaking. I'm going into second year this year. Yeah, so I came to the portfolio course straight from school. Um, I didn't really like school that much um, and I knew I wasn't ready to do a degree course so I just applied to this course. Um, I produced so much work over such a short period of time. It's from August till March. Um, I was surrounded by so many people from all across the world on the course, which I really enjoyed. Um, people of all ages as well. And there's all the different set projects, as well as making your own work kind of on the side um, during the course. Um, yeah, it was, I found it really good. And especially for going into painting it's, and for all courses really, it is so important to know and to figure out how you like drawing. Um, it's such a big part of creating a portfolio. Uh, my name is Duncan Cahoon and I'll be studying sculpture and environmental art. Well, I started at the S6 portfolio course. Um, just kind of, I found out through school, I think. And I attended a taster day. Um, it was just the chance to talk to the students and the tutors and see the studio space was really valuable and it's been something I'd considered before but um, seeing the work in process and um, the practical setup that was I remember that being like a point where I thought like I should do this <laughs> so yeah.